Hi, over the past few weeks we have had quite a few questions about our solar system um, and so we've decided to come back to it and revisit it in a series of videos in a bit more detail. So today we're going to be talking about the solar panels and the wiring and how we wired our panels into series parallel. So the panels that we've used are LG 355 watt mono black panels. Um, I will put the link in the description below so that you can see what we used uh, and we have got 20 of them on our roof, the roof of our barn um, and they are wired into two different arrays. So today I will go through our two arrays, talk about how they were wired into series parallel and also the calculations that we did to ensure that they didn't exceed the capabilities of our MPPTs that you can see behind me here. So. Let's start with the first array. The first array is 16 panels and they are wired in two, um, four groups of four. So um, as you can see on the plan, uh, we have got four panels in each group wired into series. So this makes a solar panel string and these can then be wired in parallel by wiring the positive and negative of the solar panel strings to the MPPT controller. Fraser will look at this bit in more detail in our next video on our solar system. Uh, so these panels go into the big MPPT that we've got, which is the Victron 250 uh, 100 MPPT. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. So we've got a kit page where we've put together all of the different components that we've used and um, you can see exactly what we've used um, and so if you click on that it will take you to all of the different links for all of the different products which is probably the most efficient way of doing it so I will put that link in the description below. So four panels wired in series um, and these are the calculations that we have um, used to help us. So we've got 45.92 volts for each panel and 10.15 amps. So um, when you are looking at volts and amps, this is the calculation that you need to do. And this is for wiring in series parallel. So when you put solar panels into series, you add together the volts. And when you put solar panels into parallel, you add up the amps. So if we take the first four panels of this big array that we have, um, it's wired into series at the moment. So we are looking at volts. And um, so we add the 45.92 volts together four times. Um, and that gave us 183.68 volts, which was well within the parameters of our MPPT. So when we uh, move on to looking at all 16 of these together again, that's when we start to think about adding together our amps. So um, four groups of four panels in parallel, you add together the 10.15 amps four times because there's four groups um, and that gave us 40.6 amps, which again is completely within the capabilities of the MPPT that we have chosen. So that's the plan for um, our biggest array. Let's have a look at the smaller array. So our second array is much smaller and is four panels um, and we had to play around with how we wired this a little bit to find an MPPT that would work for us. So this time we went for the Victron 150 35 MPPT um, and these are the calculations that we did to ensure that that would work for us. So as you can see we've got our panels uh, in series parallel again. Let's have a look at one of the groups of panels. So the panels are put into groups of two. Again, solar panels wired in series adds the volts. Solar panels wired in parallel adds the amps. So we'll start with this part of the array, which is um, in series, and we add the volts. So 45.92 added twice gave us 91.84, um, which was within the capabilities of the MPPT that we chose. And then when we put that with the other pair, of panels for this array we add the amps 10.15 amps at 10.15 and that gave us 20.3 amps which again was within the capabilities of that MPPT controller so that's how it looks in theory um, of course I wasn't the one on the roof wiring in and if you want to see how that looked in practice we have got a video of when Fraser was putting up the solar panels which I will put a link in the corner to that and also put it in the description too 
one of the things that we did want to say was that you don't have to be able to make these plans on your own. When we were learning about this, we went to Explorist Life, which is an amazing website and YouTube channel. They have blueprints using Victron components of all different shapes and sizes. And I would really recommend if you are starting out and you are a novice like we were, that you start there because if you can find one that meets your needs, then you don't have to make these plans on your own. You can use those plans and they will help you um, from beginning to end um, to wiring your solar panels. There is a video for everything on that YouTube channel. It is absolutely incredible and was a huge help to us at the beginning. I will put a link in the description below to Explorist Life. Check out the YouTube channel as well. It is really worth the looking at um, and will make doing your own solar system seems so much more doable. We have been living off of this solar system now for a month. Um, it has, it's still evolving and we're still learning and we're definitely not the finished product, but um, it goes to show that with research and, um, and, and the willingness to learn new skills, you can definitely um, ha have a go and um, yeah you don't need to bring in the experts. If you are doing your own solar system, we have got some other videos that might help you. If you have your own Victron Quattro inverter, we have a video that shows um, updating firmware and doing the programming of that, which seems to be a forbidden art. Uh, there are multiple warnings telling you not to do it. And whilst we're not electricians, and I should say we are not experts, we managed to work through it and the video shows how we did that. It's not so much a how-to video, but a how we did it video, um, but that might provide you with a little bit of help. Um, there's also other um, videos on our solar setup, so I will put the links in the description below to that. Hopefully they will be of use to you. So that is how we wired in our panels into series parallel, and that is a breakdown of the two arrays that we currently are using as part of our solar power system. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below and we will get back to you. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel. We're going to be covering lots more about our solar system, um, and Fraser is going to do a breakdown of all of the components that we're using in our solar system that you can see behind me here and hopefully that will really be useful to anybody who is considering um, doing their own system especially if you're planning to use Victron. Okay that's everything from me I hope it's been useful and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.